Hi, my name is Dr. Yates and I'm a hair restoration surgeon. I've been doing this now almost 11 years and I'm quite passionate about what I do. Um, a lot of people ask me, they say, Dr. Yates, well, why did you become a hair restoration surgeon? And I always tell them that selfishly I became a hair restoration surgeon because I was losing my hair when I was 20. So when I was about 35, I had a hair transplant and it worked incredibly. So after that, I was totally convinced that hair transplantation worked and I became a hair transplant surgeon. Before that, as I mentioned, I was a trauma surgeon. So I'm passionate about a hair transplant because one, I know it works. Two, I know it can change the face of someone's life. It has changed my, my life dramatically. Now, hair transplantation is not just what people think. It's not magic. There are a lot of other things that must be done to ensure that everything's gonna work well. Now, anybody that I see for a hair transplant usually has a genetic situation called androgenetic alopecia. Now, what does that mean? That means that you have the DNA, you have the genes, that over time there's a blueprint that you're gonna lose your hair. Uh, androgenetic alopecia, which is genetic, is a force to be reckoned with. Now, what can we do about it? First of all, first and foremost, top of the food chain, a hair transplant, is a permanent solution to that problem. But since genetics are so strong, we have to use other things to make the process work better. So what treatments do we offer here? We offer non-surgical treatments, which include medications, okay, which include low-level laser light, which I'm gonna talk a lot about because I'm a big proponent of that. And we also do something called PRP, which is platelet-rich plasma. I was introduced to low-level laser light therapy, I'm gonna say about five years ago, because in my previous hair practices, a lot of the practices didn't use it for whatever reason. But I selfishly started doing it because I saw it in an airplane magazine. I started using a comb. Uh, and I found out that the comb, for me, was very inconvenient. One, the comb, it took forever to use, and by the time you finished using it, your arm felt like it was going to fall off. Now, over time, I became a believer that this was actually the way to go because in the office, we got a very, very huge, large laser with the right amount of diodes, okay? It looked like a hair dryer. And what I found with using this on my patients, two things happened. One, after surgery, patients healed a lot quicker. The scabs went away a lot quicker from the hair transplant and the hair started to grow a lot faster. And the hair they had previously that was not transplanted hair also did not fall out. The hallmark of my practice is to make available the state of the art medical advances to all my patients. Now, there are two types of patients that we treat. There are patients that have surgery and there are patients that don't have surgery. Now, everybody with hair loss is not a candidate for hair transplantation surgery. So you have to have options for those patients. We've already been talking about low-level light therapy. Now, that's the beautiful thing. Low-level light therapy can also be used in the non-surgical patients. So a lot of patients always ask me, well, how does that work? Is that voodoo light? Can I get it at Walgreens or you know any other drugstore, not to just mention Walgreens? Well, there is science behind it. And the one that we recommend, the Capillus Cap, is FDA approved, which means it has the stamp by the Food and Drug Administration, which is a big deal, okay? So how does it work? Um, the light actually goes and stimulates the hair follicle to increase the microcirculation, so more blood flow goes to the hair follicle to stimulate the hair follicle to produce a better quality hair. And it's been shown scientifically that the hair counts have increased by at least 50% in patients with this problem. So I don't think you can get any better in anything that is non-surgical or even surgical to produce these results. Now, why is this cap so good? Because there are a lot of things on the market. I have a lot of patients say, oh, okay, I'll go to amazon.com and get one of those caps, Dr. Yates. And then I'll say, hold on, hold on just one second. You need to know a couple things. All caps and all these laser devices aren't created equal. This one is the best because there are two factors you have to remember. It's the amount of energy that's delivered to the scalp because you want the maximum amount of energy that's safe because that's what will stimulate the hair follicle and you want the maximal coverage area because if you get a little cap that just covers up here that's great but you want to cover as much scalp as you can so the capillus cap has the right amount of energy 
and it has the appropriate coverage that kind of beats any other laser device out there. The other thing that the beauty of the system that we use, the Capilla system, is totally portable. It's like carrying a cell phone almost. Um, you wear it and it has a battery pack, but you charge the battery pack at night just like you would your cell phone. And you wear this 30 minutes to an hour three times a week, usually on alternate days, and you can wear it under a baseball cap. So you can go to the store, you can uh, cut the grass, you can do it while you're watching TV. Everybody has 30 minutes where they're doing nothing and it doesn't require any work by you. So this is totally portable. It has the right amount of diodes, which is 272. And you know, no one has to be a math major to know that 272 is bigger than 80, which seems to stimulate the hair follicle even more. Every patient that we've seen with this type of energy has had excellent results. When you have a large percentage of female patients, dealing with female hair loss is different than male hair loss. The Capillus is an excellent adjunct to helping females with hair loss. Because some females have seasonal hair loss where their hair will just shed for no underlying reason and that's called telogen effluvium. The capilla seems to help with the shedding process, so they stop shedding. Women who have genetic hair loss also improve with the capilla's cap as well. Um, so I found that in my male population, my female population, that it's an excellent adjunct to helping people with hair loss and hair loss sufferers. So I cannot see anybody in the foreseeable future that would not benefit from this product.